This is a basic introduction to the use of the border node. We will not use any other nodes in this video. Examine our effect setup in the effect workspace or canvas. We will reveal the border node dialog box and experiment with a variety of options that can be applied to any image. From the time being, let's set the number of borders to zero. Let's see how the remaining slider controlling padded area works. As we move the slider to the right, you can see the width of the padded area increasing outside the image, the effect of which is to increase the canvas size. So this slider sets the width of the padded area. Let's set it to 100. The padded area is like a picture mount mat found in frame pictures. It is quite possible to publish the output at this stage as it is a valid effect, but let us look at some variations. We can select a new color for the padded area by double clicking on the left hand color box and selecting a new color from the basic color chart. Alternatively, we can create a custom color by moving the crosshair control on the color spectrum chart until we have the color we desire, then click on Add to Custom Colors and apply the new color to the padded area. We also have the opportunity of selecting a color from the image itself. If we go back to the dialog box, we see an eyedropper color picker tool. By depressing the left hand mouse button and holding, we are then able to slide the eyedropper over the image. As we move it about, we can see the color of the padded area change to suit the colors in the image. Release the left hand mouse button when you have a suitable color and this will register it. Let's make the padded area white. Set the number of borders to 1. Using the default color black, we shall set the border width to 10. We can see that a 10 pixel black border has been applied to the padded area. We can offset the black border, let's say to minus 20, by moving the border offset slider to the left or typing in the offset value. Note the offset has a minus sign in front of the offset value, and you can see that the border has moved a little way from the image to reveal a bit of the padded area. If we had used a positive value, let's say 20, then the black border would have moved into the image itself like this. Let's reset the dialog box. We'll start again by selecting a white padded area set to 100 and setting the number of borders at 2. Change the border color to red. Add a width of 15 pixels for each border. Leave the border offset at 0 for border 1, but change the offset for border 2 to minus 100. You should be able to see clearly that the white padded area now includes two red borders at the outside and inside edges. Red was chosen for clarity, but the color of each border and the padded area can be changed as desired. Let's make another change. Change the offset for border 2 to minus 15 and change its color to blue. Note the result. Finally, let's add one more border choosing green as the color. Border width set to 15 pixels and an offset of minus 30.
Hopefully this will give you some ideas for making your own borders and perhaps publishing them. Have fun!